Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Aries, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so for your key to the week this week you've got the hierophant card um, and there's two things that come to mind with this right so this week how you interact with the world at large is going to be something that you are probably deeply aware of right so this week if you find yourself really acutely aware of how people react to you um, how you feel within a group setting it wouldn't surprise me with this hierophant card here as well this is a time where getting very clear on what you bring to the table might be something that's also very much to the fore right um, it could also highlight to you as well where and remember we're in Scorpio season now um, so this week in some way shape or form could highlight to you where maybe you feel powerless in some way shape or form now um, for your um, uh, I just wanted to mention as well sorry complete mind blank there <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't got your 2022 uh, taroscopes, they are up and out there for your purchasing pleasure. I know I've mentioned it before, and this is the last time I'm going to do so. You can get yours on the link in the description box below or on one of those little things that floats above my head. You can get one for $4.99. You can get three, so your sun, moon, and ascendant for $12.97, or you can buy the whole bundle of all 12 for $24.99. I truly believe it's a deal. So um, for those of you that have purchased, thank you so much. For those of you that choose to it really does mean a lot that you support my work and uh, the 2022 life path videos will be up and out there soon with that your actions and options this week you have the knight of swords right so this week um especially because you've got this with the hierophant card if you're finding that you're having to go toe to toe with an institution maybe you're having to reapply for something for some of you it, and it does feel like it might be a reapplication not necessarily something that you're doing you know brand new um you've got this hierophant card which means that there might be somebody calling on you for more information uh, so maybe this is your reapplying for a loan for some sort of credit maybe this is your boss has asked you to submit evidence of work that you've done um, in some way shape or form I kind of feel like there's a formal request of information of some kind this week and it might be uh, something that causes a bit of annoyance you might think to yourself like hang on a sec I'll <laughs> you know and you want to do the whole Aries thing and just charge in um, I would advise against that because it is the Knight of Swords, which sometimes suggests that things will escalate beyond what you expect them to be. So just be careful about the way that you react to something. For your communications and conversations, you have the Emperor. So this is your card. Now, because your ruler, Mars, is in the sign of Scorpio, Scorpio is the knight or feminine aspect of Mars. So technically, even though it's uh, it's a water sign, this is an energy that you are able to work with a little better than most people because you are uh, also ruled by Mars, right? So this week, finding a way to tap into the qualities that are opposite of who you are, finding a way to tap into the qualities of... Um, you know, and not even necessarily your softer side, but your, you know, the inner courage, the inner strength that you're known for, not necessarily the outward displays. Now, you've got the Emperor card here in the communications. Remember what I said about this Hierophant card. This is a week for you to be strategic in the way that you communicate, in the way that you present information, in the way that you present yourself. In some way, shape or form, this week, it would be wise for you to temper what you're saying with uh, the wisdom that you can at times Aries be known for. Now, when it comes to your, um, uh, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, this could be conversations that you're having with the boss. This could be more information that's requested in order to be submitted for something. This might be as well that you are part of, 
just destroying the place. This might be that this week you're part of some form of investigation. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are the, you, you know, you're the person or the thing being investigated, but it may be that you are part of or drawn into this in some way, shape or form. And for a select few of you, maybe there's a correspondence or a, a moment where you are spending time in a school, a hospital, or um, any sort of larger institution, right? So now, for those of you that are um, uh, self-employed, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this week, again, be strategic in the people that you go after. For some of you, you could be aligning this week with either a very powerful person, a person in a position of authority. You could be aligning with a bigger institution. Maybe you hook what I call, you know, I call the big clients, big fish. This could be that you find a big fish client. Maybe somebody decides that they want to work with you. Maybe you grab a contract of some sort. This could be really great for you, actually. Um, how you present yourself, though, is going to be everything. Now, as an Aries, you you need to be authentically yourself. That's absolutely true. But, like I said, Aries isn't just a soldier. It's also a general. It's also an emperor. Be strategic in the way that you present yourself. Be you, 100%, but be the qualities of you that are uh, also there, as you know, apart from the ones that are just stereotypically Leo. Uh, Leo? Aries, sorry. Ooh, offensive. <laughs> um, all right, for, uh, and then for those of you that are retired, um, this week, you could be sifting through a lot of information. And I don't know why, but I feel like there's something here that needs to be looked at, needs to be investigated. It's almost like you're trying to get to the bottom of something. For your love and relations, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Slow and steady is gonna win the race this week for you when it comes to love. You've got this underneath the Knight of Swords, which means that you, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, you may be wanting to push something forward this week, right? And your partner might be saying, hang on a sec, let's put on the brakes here. You have to, this week, you could make a strong case for your argument, but you, you can't control your partner, right? So this week, if you don't get the answer that you want, maybe it's time to back off. Maybe it's time to try a different approach or maybe it's time to take stock of where you're actually at and see if you and your partner are, are currently and that's not to say that you can't be again, but to see if you and your partner are currently on the right track. Are you actually in the space that you need to be for a relationship to be happy and healthy? For those of you that are single, um, I mean, this week, if you are meeting somebody, it's likely to be in the weirdest sort of place. This could be, you know, when I say the weirdest place, and maybe not necessarily the weirdest place, but it could be in a space that it just seems really unconventional to you in some way, shape or form. All right, so just consider that. For your money and materials, you've got the ace, uh, the ace, the king of pentacles. This is beautiful for your money, right? So this week, there is potential for promotions. This week, there is potential for real career advancement. This is really, really nice. What I also like about this as well is whatever financial um, changes or adaptations are made this week to improve or to enhance your financial experience, it's here to stay. The King of Pentacles always has that sense of longevity about it, being stuck in it for the long haul, right? But in the best kind of way. I really, really like this. For those of you that aren't employed and looking for work, this suggests that you could find the place that you're going to be. And I have to say, it looks like wherever it is that you end up, you're likely to be there for some time. Uh, and then finally, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, this is gonna be your neck, your throat, and your voice. Uh, look after these things this week, right? Really look after them. And then when it comes to your home and environment, I mean, the King of Pentacles could suggest that some of you are welcoming in an earth sign male, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, for any number of reasons, all right? So this could be really, really interesting. It could actually also be very, really, uh, very, very exciting. This feels like it's like almost like you're inviting somebody in so that they can help you um, with some of your decisions or certainly your financial outlook. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.